Yes, my name is Max Schweitzer. I'm a watchmaker, an independent watchmaker, which I have done mostly all my life. I'm an official service agent for certain brands, which I'm not mentioning, but they are top, top brands. So uh, now uh, uh, I start, started my own business and uh, I did write to the companies in Switzerland and said that I had my own workshop uh, and I was training watchmakers as well. I had always apprentices. Even though some people told me, watchmakers told me, why would you train what other watchmakers? One day they will only take your, your job. And I said, well, if we have a God's gift, why shouldn't we give it to other people? It's, uh... So I never regretted that, yes. Now, what has happened recently, the last few years, uh, especially with the Swiss, the big Swiss companies, they have amalgamated and uh, they have opened their own workshop abroad and have then decided not to supply independent watchmakers anymore with spare parts. And uh, this is why that uh, campaign is going on now, because I do it for the next generation, that hopefully there will be a change and uh, that uh, big companies will change their mind. But uh, if the big companies in Switzerland are not willing to do that, it's uh, becoming uh, a monopoly and uh, it is not right towards the owners of the watches. If a customer has an old watch and it's a, it's a heirloom, in other words, they did receive that watch from their grandpa and it goes down generations. And if he goes to the uh, manufacturer, they insist when they want to do a service to put to change the hands, to change the dial, and therefore the watch loses its value. And at the same time, it will cost them almost a third of the price of the watch, which the customer didn't want to pay for. They, they, they do not listen to the owner of the watch. What we do as independent watchmakers, we listen to the customer first and then do what they want us to do. And of course, if the customer only wants, for instance, a battery change, we will do it. But if they take that watch to the company, they say, oh no, we cannot guarantee it just with a battery change. We have to do a full service. It will cost you three, four hundred dollars. And they have no choice. So therefore, you ask yourself in the end, well, who owns really the watch? Am I the owner or is the manufacturer the owner because he tells me what I have to do? Yes, the problem is with the manufacturings uh, opening service centers in the big cities like in uh, Sydney or in uh, Melbourne uh, and not supplying parts to independent watchmakers, they are totally cutting out the competition. And uh, that is uh, pretty, pretty sad. And I think uh, in one way, maybe the manufacturers do want that so that they do have uh, the monopoly, but long term, I don't think it will be a positive uh, effect. I am, I am uh, really, it was a bit like a slap in my face because I was very, very uh, traditional and I was uh, always, uh, uh, what, what's the English word? I was very proud uh, of that brand which now is cutting uh, the spare parts off uh, because it's a good quality product and I trained a lot of uh, watchmakers and apprentices on that product. 
and especially now, just uh, a year or two before my retirement, uh, to come and to tell me, from as from the 1st of April, we are not supplying you any more spare parts, and especially that I was weekly, we were uh, repairing between five and ten of those watches a week, it is a big slap in my face. It's not that I want more work, I want to slow down, but it is just the way they have been acting, uh, which I think it's not right. And they don't know, they just hear, okay, Max Schweitzer, but they don't know how many years he has really worked and devoted his life for that particular brand. And I think that is a little bit upsetting.